You think so? No, 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 no. I, I was waiting all this time, bro. Stop it. Yes, Netmarble there. Netmarble headquarters for MFF. Okay. Your update sucks. <laughs> we are the villain. <laughs> Hello gang, welcome to the channel and today we're here because God Ember Doom is here also and we took the second middle month for the Fantastic Four update we are already uh, like one month and a half in the update of Fantastic Four uh, it's kind of six weeks if I count correct five weeks perhaps and we have the new system we took the update for Fantastic Four and now we just took Doctor Doom and Victorious and yes I did a live stream like yesterday or two days ago depending on where you're seeing the video and yeah it's disgusting guys both Victorious and Doctor Doom feels really bad they are actually uh like they didn't took a buff they didn't took damage especially dr doom uh there is people reporting him as tier 4 uh performing worse than the 3099 uniform i tried myself but yeah before i just dropping you information i'm gonna let you know what you're going to see right now you're gonna see the best dr doom in the game actually the rank 11 it's doom ranger it's from exiles a dude did me a favor and drop a doctor doom to his timeline battle because guys i had to find someone to ask him to put doctor doom into timeline battle team doctor doom it's super iconic character a lot of people already tear for him but no one is using him N literally no one was using him on challenger by Branium silver gold whatever league of timeline bottle and this is a lose day one the stats of the update is like that i hope developers looks like that uh, looks at these stats you know for timeline bottle no one is using him i had to find a dude and ask him to do it thank you dude uh thank actually to my moderator god from excels also he helped me uh, read someone with tier 4 <laughs> Dr. Doom, that was the criteria tier 4, full busted build brilliant conquest and stuff like that and I was fighting against him over and over with my teams to see how the best Dr. Doom can, you know, can perform in timeline battle also, we're gonna talk about the po my point of view generally on characters, uniforms and why people uh, you know, my opinion that uh, for the people dropping the game, you know, quitting the game because Dr. Doom didn't get a uniform that they expected and many other things that I'm gonna talk. There are, of course, some uh, positive things. I'm gonna mention the positive day in the start. But yeah, before we go through that, guys, I want you to do me a favor, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can get all the awesome content we're dropping from uh sorts with sneak peeks videos live stream community posts and all the info we are sharing through uh for marvel feature fight through youtube and our social media of course there is discord server etc etc okay let's start from somewhere and there is some positive things there is the best sneak peek ever and this best sneak peek was epic it was it was even worse because you know, if you are a, okay, I'm gonna tell you something right after. Let let's 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 enjoy actually. Suspect's 
Okay, guys, I want to appreciate what we're getting, you know? I want to appreciate what uh, developers focusing on and this sneak peek after one, nine and a half years into MFF, it's fantastic. AAA games does not get that kind of sneak peeks and we were like crazy, what? This was amazing. After the Pats notes dropped, everyone was like, Oh my god, this thing feels amazing. It's God Ember Doom. Guys, God Ember Doom, uh, it's the most iconic uh, Doctor Doom, uh, you know, comic, uh, super, you know. In the comics, Doctor Doom, it was at his peak on this run here, the Sec Secret Wars. It's There is two, the Secret Wars 1 and Secret Wars 2. And as you can see, he is in the middle and all Fantastic Four are around him. I don't want to spoil it for you, but if you like Fantastic Four and generally Marvel, you should go and see Secret Wars, the 2019 Jonathan Hickman run. It's amazing, it's crazy, and it's the end of Jonathan Hickman's Fantastic Four run, actually, which was really also really cool too. So everyone's expectation was like that. I'm playing the game like uh, seven years. I'm not sure yet. Any, I'm not sure yet, but. Uh, it's in seven years. I was thinking when we're gonna get God Emperor of Doom when we're gonna get God Emperor of Doom God Emperor of Doom should be super powered should be the number one should be in the game You know and we took him and the only good thing compared to his previous uniform is that they fixed actually something His animations everything feels fantastic, but they also fixed the problem he has with his rotation his fifth skill with the old uniform was like a uh, uh, the duration of the cooldown uh, was 25 seconds, so it's 12 seconds if you cut it on half, 12.5 actually, and uh, when, when you have, you know, 50% reduced cooldown, so they fixed this and they made his new uniform uh, legit to use with a proper rotation. Previously, you had to go through his 5th skill, 4th skill, 3rd skill, do damage with your 3rd skill, and in the 2nd rotation, because your 5th skill was out of cooldown, you were using your 4th skill delay cancel into your 3. Now, you can start with your 5th skill delay cancel into your 4th skill, cancel into your 3, or cancel into your tier 3 skill. But, I have some information, you know, I saw actually people clearing a tier 4, faster with Doctor Doom 3099 and that means that developers change something on his accumulation, change something on his skills that makes him perform equal or worse than the previous uniform. And when you have the previous uniform having the problem with the cooldowns and you have the new uniform that you're doing more more damage with your skills, you know, the tier 3 skills feels to have, uh, the, the old uniform feels to have more damage on his tier 3, the other uniform, because he has more skills to use, uh, he can use the skills faster and he can do more damage with his rotations 1 to 5, uh, but they are kind of equal for PV. And of course, a character with all these passive abilities, you know, for PvP, through his uniform and through his passive, uh, generally passive abilities, it's a character that you are going to use for PvP. So, for PvE, you know, uh, his performance, it's mid, but cool. The problem is that it's equal with the previous uniform and he should be at least better for a big percentage because now the previous feels to be better for a small percentage and this is weird totally uh the fact that he has reflect all attacks uh, makes him meta compare you know uh, against silver surfers and stuff like that so everything on his abilities screams like pvp meta and the dude can't do shit until he gets tier 4 and a maximum build his second skill, it's something that he's using and it's weird how uh, the, the second skill reacts, you know, how uh, when, when you're using during the fight, the second skill feels makes the character feels weird and it's not fast skill to use and counter, uh, like let's say Thanos' first skill, second skill of Adam Warlock or third skill of Silver Surfer are counter attacks that you can actually utilize proper and the autoplay of the game use it uh with a proper way 
but for Dr. Doom, feels like his PvP performance is below average. His fourth skill is supposed to do damage and doing nothing. His second skill has no priority. The counterattack is not enabling a lot of times, so he feels like lame. And you're gonna see how I was performing against the number 11, the rank 11 of, uh, you know, of the rankings on uh, Dr. Doom. Okay, mine it's rank 6000 and Doom Ranger, uh, the, the one that I was fighting, it's rank 11, now it's 16. But you can see, we're talking about Dr. Doom missing the artifact, but also having a brilliant conquest he has 168 hp on his character more than 100,000 energy attack and you can see this character when you're seeing something like this you're like he's going to be busted he's going to destroy everything you can see he has all the this, uh, uh, pierce reduction he has super busted pvp cards he is one of the best alliance conquest alliances he's rank 4 right, right now so we're talking about super duper busted uh, Doom and let me show you how my team up uh, for PvP went against you. I'm gonna use different characters like Adam Warlock, Wolverine, Silver Surfer, uh, Sentry, Colossus and stuff like that. Uh, let me also show you the emblems that this dude has which are kind of maxed out at least you know for PvP. It's the damage reduction, it's the HP there so he's fat. He's really fat. All the fights starts and ends with uh, Doctor Doom. The moment I have my, uh, you know, I'm setting my team against the enemy Doom, and I'm just fighting there. You can see it's auto play completely. Uh, my Wolverine uh, has a mighty conquest five star artifact. I managed to kill one of his lives. We're talking about the super busted uh, Doctor Doom, you know, rank eleven. And he managed to kill uh, to enable my immortality. I did kill one of his lives with the brilliant conquest. As you can see, autoplay Wolverine. You know that if you play manual, you can do it smarter. Sentry here went through one of his rotations and managed to kill him. So we're swapping. As you can see, if you're using brilliant conquest and if you have super busted build, uh, he's actually doing shit. He's doing shit uh, on autoplay, so it's not like he's bad. The point is that you can't use him if he is not maxed out. Previously, with Sentry, I had hit at level 70, and I was doing a video on him, and I was really, really happy, because at the level 70, I built Sentry, and he was able to perform and kill enemies on timeline battle. That's not the case for Dr. Doom. He feel, look at this, his fourth skill did like no damage and his second skill actually enabled there but it's once in a lifetime. Adam Warlock can take him down really easy as you can see I went into my second skill two times so I two sought a brilliant conquest doom with a build like that. You can see my builds going into my ADN, Deathproof HS and C but my character has nothing to do with this build I saw you before. I have mighty CDPs, I have 70% HP and I don't have uh, almost at all, only 20% all defense, I think. But it's really low compared to this account, you know. My character shouldn't be able to kill this uh, Doctor Doom on autoplay. And in some cases I was using Colossus, but you can see here, Adam Urlok is actually bullying Doctor Doom easy peasy on autoplay and Adam Orlok is way better on uh, manual of course uh, when I was trying to play manual against him was like I was uh, you know uh, taking a candy from a baby girl or something from a little kid so I didn't want to go into manual and completely dismantle him I let it on auto just to show you how he's performing in my mind you know he's medium his medium but you have to consider that his value right now his cost right now it's equal to gladiators to Jean Grey Strife Mogulman and Thina I mean compared to all these characters Jean which is the tier 4 the other tier 4 and also uh, there is no one else being a tier 4 oh gladiator 
he has the disadvantage being the best on anything. Yeah, what I'm talking about. Gladiator is the best character to use for one day of ABL and one day for ABX. From the other side, Jean is the best character to use for one day of ABX. She used to be one for ABL too. She used to be top meta for PvP, but at least she is there right now for one day of ABX. Doctor Doom day one, he's not the best for anything. He's not the best for timeline battle. He's not the best for other world battle. You're not going to see anyone using him. No one cares to use Dr. Doom. There is so many people built him already at tier 4 and the fact that they are not using him means a lot. You can't utilize him on manual, you can't utilize him on auto for PvP and for PvE guys, being worse than the previous uniform is disgusting. Of course, for ABX and ABL, he's also bad. Masih Mikir uh, tested Cameron Hodge, you know, uh, test him uh, without, you know, without a CDP, it's with a PvP build and he managed to pull out uh, 9.5 million with him. 9.5 million with a level 80 character in 2024, even without Obelisk, it's really disgusting. It's worse than what Quicksilver did uh, for him with similar build. So yeah, a character like that without Obelisk should do like 13 million if you have to imagine that with a brilliant raids and a busted PV build, she could go and cap or being any good for the top tier of ABX and ABL. So the dude came here, Dr. Doom, and he is good for anything. He is not top for anything. So you have a quest that you have to buy all these Fantastic Four that, and build them, the Fantastic Four that it's medium already. And we just took, you know, Victorious, which is, I'm not gonna do a showcase for Victorious, by the way. Hands up, she's disgusting. She is unusable. Her skills do no damage. She is like super bad rework, 100% bad rework. Uh, and yes, it's disgusting, guys. They need to buff, they need to buff Dr. Doom 100%. We are in, in a moment right now thinking that actually Fantastic Four uh, update, the first part of the update was better than this update, the middle month of Doctor Doom. I was, I was speculating that uh, Doctor Doom would be the, the surprise and everyone's attention is on Doctor Doom waiting for him, but we managed to take Doctor Doom and think that the Fantastic Four update was better right now. You know, you took Sue Storm being mediocre for multiple things, but at least she is meta for other world battle, you know. We took Dr. Doom right now and he's not good at anything. Victorious can't do shit. She can't do damage on World Boss Legend. I saw like people completing uh, stage 35 of now as the maximum of her capacity. I built her during my livestream and tried her as stage 55 and she was doing like in half a minute two bars uh, and I have 128,000 HP. Both of the characters are so disgusting. They have get nothing. They have lost actually. He lost damage for PvE. His PvP performance is below average and he need to be super busted to perform and do anything. With my build, I can't do shit for timeline battle, I can't do shit for other world battle, he's straight up bad. They need to fix the characters and I, I'm saying characters because Victorious can't clear Shadowland. We're talking about this uh, uh, amount of disgusting uh, rewards, you know. So, developers, wake up, do something. And the other thing that I want to mention is that I believe, you know, Dr. Doom should get something. That's, that's you know, out of question. He is the most iconic uh, uniform for him. He is one of the most iconic characters for a, uh, for a lot of players and a lot of Marvel people. He need to be good on one thing. Tell us that he's busted for World Boss Legend. Tell us he's busted only for other World Battle. We don't have problem having characters like that. Gladiator is like that. Okay, Gladiator is not like that. He's good at Alliance Conquest. He's good at uh, Other World Battle. Yeah, do him like Gladiator, you know? Give him something. Give him something to sign, like the unique Doctor Doom can do this. 
I told you, I told you to give him a tier four unique, a tier four skill unique, being like an executioner. When the enemy has 20% or below, press the tier four and kill him. Your tier four, uh, put a light on and you can press it and kill the enemy. Do something. Do make us have to think and use the character proper and make him unique. We don't need him to be the number one to kill everyone with one click, but give us something to work on, you know? He's disgusting, bro. He's really bad, really bad. And you saw me going against the number one and, you know, my characters are like mediocre for PvP, 100%. And the other thing I want to mention about the game and generally something I said in my Discord today and yesterday on the live stream, it's... Uh, Something for all of you out there being ready to drop the game because Dr. Doom didn't get a good uniform. Guys, you need to understand that all the updates that we're getting, all the new uniforms we're getting, all the things that happening into the game, the sales, the Black Fridays, the RNG, uh, the aspect of winning chest and stuff like that on them, all of these things are the salt and paper on the main thing that it's the game we're playing. The game we're playing is PvE, player versus environment, PvP, players versus player there, and also collection. We have Barbie, Marvel Barbies that we want to sign every single time. We have uh, the PvP and the PvE, and you have to figure out yourself what you are enjoying into the game. I know that most of the updates are character-centric. That means that they introduce a new character and make you want to buy it, and not having a reason to buy Doom makes you, you know, mad and you want to quit the game. But you need to understand that you should find yourself what you enjoy the most in the game and focus on it. You want to focus on World Boss Legend Clears, focus on it. And if we get a good Dr. Doom, you can use him. If you don't, you know, if your Dr. Doom is not good, do not buy him. It's not the end of the world. I know that some people would love some specific characters and they want to play with some specific characters out there, but that's not the main goal. The main goal is to play World Boss, play ABX, play ABL, play Timeline, play Alliance Conquest, collect all the characters, go there and see that you are collecting everything, all the uniforms, all the characters, do the collection, uh, team up collections, fix your team up collections. This is the things in the game that you should focus on and not the characters specific and how good they are compared to the other characters. In my mind at least, what, what I'm doing, I'm focusing on specific game modes weeks by week. Two, three weeks ago, I was super uh, focused on ABX, ABL, I was playing over and over and I won a high score, etc, etc. Now I'm focused on World Boss Legend. I'm thinking I want to play more World Boss Legend. I want to do the challenges. Two months ago, I was playing Timeline Battle. Now I want also a Lance Tournament. You know, I'm focusing on things that are going to make me want to log in and progress through the game, going closer to my future goals, future targets. You know, I'm targeting to get rank 100. I'm targeting to do, I have some plans for the game, you know. Whatever character we're gonna get, I'm gonna see we're gonna, what we're gonna get and I'm gonna use him whatever use he gonna have. But if the character is not gonna be good, dropping the game, in my mind, it's stupid at least. You know, it's like a behavior of a, a small, uh, spoiled child, you know. Oh, I'm gonna drop the game, there's no good uh, Dr. Doom. Yeah, dude, collect your character, play with him. You don't need to play with him on every single game mode. Play! You still, Dr. Doom is still good, guys. It's not like he's bad. All this we are talking about, all the people that they are talking about, it's he is not top and he is not better than Sentry, Wolverine, Adam Warlock, Silver Surfer, the specific characters that are maxed be the best character right now into the game. You, he is medium. He should be way better and Net Marble should buff the character. But your main goal is enjoying the game and have fun focusing on something goals or some goals you want to do in the game not if dr doom looks like that not if fantastic four are bad i love read richards but i'm gonna live without read richards you know yeah so let me know down below in the comments if you think uh dr doom want a buff 
do a hashtag on the forum buff doom under uh, my post or other post drop comment right now hashtag buff doom you know and tell us your opinion which is the worst part on dr doom and what they need to fix on him or if you're happy you know let me know that you're happy and you don't have any problem you're enjoying how it is fantastic four was a roller coaster of feelings and i feel like they should focus more when they are doing uh, updates for these iconic characters and not being like that, you know. It was really unfair for Doctor Doom, I really enjoy him, uh, but yes, it is what it is, guys. I'm looking forward for your comments, see you into the next, hope you enjoy this video, kisses in your faces!